So I can see three key challenges. The first one is to make sure first your transform the transformation of your core is in order. And what I mean by that, open banking is really in the field of innovation. It's on the field of new business model. It's not an incremental innovation. It's really something, a way of thinking, a culture which is radically different, which is coming from the platform world. And you know, platform today, they are way bigger than oil and banking. So first, first step, get the house in order. And so then you can enter disruption. The second one is to ruthlessly prioritize when you enter these new businesses. And the most accessible way is really to start by the banking as a service offering. And here, it's really about identifying APIs that could be distributed to the market. And somehow you have to, to get it quick because, and, and cheap because the challenge is people will tell you, what is the market? How big is the market? What's the size of the market? And I bet sometimes it will be cheaper to build the API than really, you know, answering the pile of deck of PowerPoints to get something through a large incumbent, which is not the case in our organization. <laughs> of course. And the third part uh, is when it comes to banking as a platform model, I think it's really about avoiding the innovation theater. And what I mean by that uh, is, you know, banking as a platform is a very complicated business. Not everyone can be Klarna, you know, not everyone can enter the field of e-commerce. You know, of course, Chinese will have the need more easily like Alipay and uh, the large, you know, Chinese giants that have deployed very quickly this technology, you know, coming from a very strong technology background. But in Europe, for example, most of the bank are not doing acquiring anymore. And so as such, you know, they've given part of this business to actors like such as Worldline or different ones. And this actor like Stripe and Adyen have grown in this market. And that don't mean that we don't need to compete. I'm just saying that, you know, doing a little is not going to move a dent. And basically, you know, it's going to bring you challenges. And so it's really about having overarching strategy and making sure your bets are in the right positions. 